News 8. Starting off with some clear conditions, at least for the most part, a little cloud cover in the Red River City as we're glancing eastbound, but another quiet start nonetheless, and that's what's in store for our Friday. We are expecting this ridge of high pressure to hold that will lead to more sunshine and more warmth. But as this cold front begins to work eastbound on Super Doppler 8, we may see a pop up shower or storm. We can see some moisture slicing through the Ohio Valley into the deep south right now, and eventually that will move our way to kick off the weekend, so we will become unsettled. But we are expecting another nice but hot day for this time of the year. We'll see some sunshine to begin the day, then a little more cloud cover later on with temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s. Watching out for a straight evening shower or thunderstorm. Overnight, we'll see a few clouds from time to time with temperatures falling back into the low to mid 60s. That's actually where our average high should be right around. So that's a sign of how warm it actually is through the overnight. Then tomorrow, with this cold front moving in, Definitely cooler with highs in the low to mid 70s, watching out for showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon, and we may see a couple of stronger ones, and we'll talk about that in a moment. If you are getting out today, it is going to be nice, but still going to have high pollen levels out there. Oak, birch, and maple all in the high category, mold levels in the moderate category. Air quality also moderate with some uh, ozone and particulates in the air, thanks to that light wind not really mixing up the low levels all that well. And with the sunshine, at least to start, we'll have a high UV index with a burn time of 30 minutes. Temperatures are in the 40s to 50s right now, which is around where we were at this time yesterday, if not slightly warmer. Now, as we jump forward on predictor to tomorrow morning, will be much warmer with the clouds helping that. We're right around 70 through mid morning. We're dry. There comes the cold front by around 1 to 2 in the afternoon out west, and then it starts to work eastbound. Through mid afternoon, heavy rain, some lightning, I think, some gusty wind, maybe some small hail on the strongest of cores. You can see the downpours continue right through 8, 9 o'clock before all this starts to wind on down in the wee hours of our uh, Sunday. We have that marginal risk. It means one or two storms may include some brief gusty wind, maybe some small hail. It's a low end risk, a one out of five, but something you'll want to monitor if you're traveling tomorrow afternoon. Now, our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast is a pretty big dip in our temperatures after the cold front gets through. 62 on Sunday. I think we'll see some sunshine mixed with clouds. Then Monday, we're back into the 50s, a pretty good cool down to kick off early next week. Then we start to moderate back into the 60s. Tuesday into Wednesday was another chance of showers Thursday and early next week. Caitlin. All right, TJ, let's take a look at your Friday morning.